I'm Ella. I'm a sophomore at LHS. You know! One of the hardest days of the year comes in May, a month full of happiness, sunshine, and rainbows. The school year is coming to an end, and summer break is beginning. May is bright, joyful, and warm. However, on the second Sunday of May, everything feels so dark, depressing, and cold. I lay on my unmade bed and cry to myself. I feel, as, I feel as if the walls of my room are about to cave in on me. I see my friends post their moms and the bond they have. I wish that were me. I start to skip through these stories about how grateful they are to have such a good influence. I wish that were me. I want to feel loved and cared for by my mother the way they are. That used to be me. It's not me anymore because of you. I used to ask you to brush out the tangles of my hair but now I can't help but think of you as a knot. Something will eventually always come back, no matter how hard you pull away. You decided that drugs meant the most to you, more than the kids who wanted you home, the kids who wondered where you were, the kids who later found out you were buying drugs, with money we didn't have. To be fair, it wasn't much better when you were here. You would be passed out for days, and I would begin to wonder if you would ever wake up. The relief rushing through me like waves when I would hear you make a noise, something to remind me that you were still alive, that you didn't take too many painkillers this time. I remember you holding me until I fell asleep. I was scared of the dark and the monsters I thought would get me if you weren't there. The real monster was you. The one who should have been protecting me was the one to kill me slowly and painfully. You couldn't save me from the pain, the manipulation, and the abuse. When I was eight years old, you asked me if I wanted to stay at a hotel with you. I said yes. I didn't know it was so you could meet a man, a man that saw no issue having sex while a little girl was in the bed next to him. You promised you would sleep next to me. You lied. Finding used needles, crack pipes, and empty pill bottles, you would tell me they weren't yours. You lied. No one will ever love you more than I do. You lied. If you truly loved me, you would have been there for me when I needed you most. You left when I was 11. You tell me that's not how it happened. But I will never forget the tears and thoughts of self-hatred, because you had to have a reason to abandon us the way you did, the way people abandon books they are no longer interested in, leaving them behind, completely forgetting about them. <sighs> the fact that I would take you back hurts the most. I would forget everything if you sobered up, if you got real help, but I know you won't. So for now, I reminis reminisce, remembering all the times I told you, Happy Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.